Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is The Raptor, and even though it feels like it's been no time at all, we are reaching the end of 2021 and Season 8 of Death Battle. I personally have loved this season, and even though we haven't quite gone to the finale yet, we do know all of the episodes that are going to be in Season 8 of the show. So I figured why not get a head start with this video. Today I'm going to be counting down my top 10 most wanted episodes for Season 9 of Death Battle in 2022. Now of course, all of this video is just my opinion. I don't expect anybody to fully agree with everything that I say. There might be some people that agree with nothing of what I say, and that's perfectly fine. There is no right or wrong answer to any of this. It's all just opinions. So be sure to leave your own most wanted fights down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and what you guys want to see. I think it'd be really cool. There are a couple of things though that I want to get out of the way before we get started. The last few seasons of Death Battle have consisted of somewhat specific themes. Like for season 5, it was highly requested episodes. For season 8, it it was legacy episodes, etc, etc, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to do something similar for Season 9, or if they've already revealed it, I'm not sure, but regardless of it, there's a theme, I don't want any kind of theme to hold back any of my ideas in this video, because I want to get as creative as I possibly can, and not try to conform to something specific like that, you know what I mean? And also, I am well aware that they may reveal some Season 9 combatants at the end of the Season 8 finale of Death Battle, but this video is coming out before that video, so just keep that in mind, I'm not taking that into account for for this video. And the last thing that I want to say really quick is that there are still a lot of episodes that I've mentioned in my other annual Most Wanted Death Battles videos that I still really want to see, like Alex Mercer versus Cole McGrath, Jason Voorhees versus Michael Myers, Ant-Man versus Adam, Ruby versus Maka, Hiccup and Toothless versus Hero and Baymax, Gru versus Megamind, and so many more. I still want to see all of these episodes, and I think some of them have a decent chance of happening in Season 9, but I'm not going to be talking about them in depth for this video because I want to talk about all new fights. So these are still on my most wanted list, I guess you could say. I still really want to see them, but I'm not going to be talking about them in depth in this video. If you want to hear me talk about these fights and more, just click on some of the links in the description below, and it will take you to other videos like this one. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So coming up first on the list, we have Stitch versus Rocket Raccoon. Yep, starting off with a weird one. I have talked about this fight before in another video talking about obscure death battle ideas, but I've never put it in one of these and annual most wanted videos. And I knew that I had to put it in this one because as silly as it is, I really want to see this fight done on the show. These guys surprisingly have a lot of incredibly deep connections for Death Battle to dig their hands into. They're both super intelligent aliens mistaken for Earth animals, that underwent cybernetic experiments but escaped their home worlds, becoming outlaws, meeting friends from other planets, and eventually joining space-bound freedom fighting teams, along with other similarities in their arsenals. There's also just a major emphasis on family when it comes to these characters' respective movies, and I feel like that gives them such a deep connection, not to mention the obvious animation potential thanks to Rocket's tech and Stitch's abilities. I have heard other opponents that these characters could potentially go up against, like Stitch vs. Pikachu or Rocket vs. Fox McCloud, but this one to me feels like the absolute strongest in regards to deep connections and overall enjoyability. Part of that is because these are two of my all-time favorite characters, like no exaggeration, but also because they're so unique and have such standout personalities. Seeing them interact with each other in the fight and diving deep into what they can do sounds like a blast to me. If you think this fight is just silly and weird, I totally get that, and I don't have any reason why it would happen now of all times, but I just love it so much, so I had to put it on my list. Next up on the list, we have Hellboy vs. Nero. This is another one where I've talked about it before, but only briefly in other kinds of videos, and this one's been thrown around for quite a long time in the community at this point, and it's still a personal favorite of mine. One of the reasons why I like this fight so much is just because of the types of characters involved. I'm really into the idea of having comic characters that didn't originate from Marvel or DC on Death Battle, such as Hellboy. We've had that before, like with Spawn and Scott Pilgrim and TMNT, but bringing in one of Dark Horse's best and most unique characters would also be so awesome. There's just no real downside to introducing new universes to the show, as I've said many times before. And while we have had Devil May Cry characters on the show before, it has been quite a long time since the last one, and I've grown to really appreciate the DMC world and what it has to offer. Nero would be a great way to bring us back into that world, in my opinion. This fight for me is also just the definition of fun. When I think of matchups that are good and fun to follow, I think of this one. Their powers and abilities could clash really well together, and their personalities as hunters of the super 
Supernatural would be so entertaining to watch. It would fit so perfectly in this next season considering all the traction it's been getting, and it has pretty much everything I look for in fight ideas. It's one of those fights where as long as they do it well, it would be such a treat for all of us. Coming up next on the list is Oma Zio vs Lord Draken. Now we're really getting into the fights that I haven't talked about much on this channel or even at all, and this one is definitely the latter. This fight has gained so much popularity so quickly that it almost feels like I'm beating Death Battle to the punch with this one, who knows when they would actually get around to doing it. But despite that, I truly do think that this would be an amazing choice for a Season 9 fight. It has so much about it that works so well. There have been a lot of common Rider fights thrown around recently, and while I wouldn't mind seeing a good number of them and learning more about the series, this is the one that intrigues me the most. The overpowered, villainous nature of these guys almost gives me Beerus vs. Galaxia vibes, and I really like that. Yes, I know Lord Draken has a number of other opponents, and there might be one or two that I'd still be excited for, like the Batman Who Laughs, but Omazeo just feels so right for Draken. I mean, it's Kamen Rider vs. Power Rangers, and that sounds pretty awesome to me. Overall, there is a lot to love about this fight idea. It has loads of potential for the analyses and the animation, the connections and fight dynamic are undeniable, and this would create a new kind of Power Rangers fight, and a badass introduction to Kamen Rider. Again, I have no idea when Death Battle would get to making this one if they even be interested in it at all, but the more I hear about this fight, the more I want to see it, so it definitely takes a spot on my list. Moving on down the line, we have Black Adam vs. Apocalypse. I know this fight was just made into a DBX earlier this year, so it might not have as great a chance of being made into a Death Battle in 2022, but I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that this is one of the only Marvel vs. DC fights right now that really excite me, and I'm pretty forgiving when it comes to those universes on the show, so that's really saying something. This is one of the types of fights that I love, where one character isn't just some blatant clone of the other, and where their similarities lay more with their origins and character traits rather than their powers and abilities. Also, the fact that the sky is really the limit when it comes to animation potential. You can do so much with these characters and get really creative with their powers and the fight choreography in general. I'd love to see these two banter and boast about how unbeatable they are as the tables turn constantly, because this is one of those fights where the dynamic is crazy to think about, considering how differently their powers work compared to one another. I don't hate Marvel or DC characters in Death Battle despite how often they get used, but I do recognize and share a lot of the issues people have with it. This fight gets rid of almost all of those issues for me, and would give me and a lot of other people a really awesome villain fight to look forward to. It's not all unfamiliar territory, of course, but it could still turn out to be a lot of fun. Coming up next, we got Bardock vs. Omni-Man. Like Hellboy vs. Nero, this fight is a great opportunity to introduce people to characters from other kinds of comics, not to mention that the Invincible show is still relatively new and well-known, which makes it an easy transition to learning about the comics, and while this would be using yet another Dragon Ball character, it would be a very nice change of pace from the other ones we've been recently getting on the show, and I don't think there's any harm in that. And yes, I am well aware that Omni-Man vs. Homelander is also in circulation in the community, and I wouldn't be surprised if Death Battle ended up doing that one instead, but in my opinion, both of them have other opponents that work just as well, if not better, and Bardock vs. Omni-Man is the one I'm most into. This one's a lot more than just evil Superman with super kids, and it's probably more debatable as well, which can still be an important factor to me. It's not the most important, but it is something to consider at least. And of course, their super powerful abilities, both similar and different, could make for a very epic fight if done well. I do have to admit that part of me putting this on the list is probably my personal preference regarding the universes. I've absolutely adored all the Dragon Ball Death Battle episodes in recent memory, and while I haven't started watching or reading Invincible yet, I am very intrigued by its concept and the reputation it's built up. So when I see a fight that includes both of those series and also genuinely works well as a matchup, I know it's one I'm going to be drawn to. I don't think Homelander vs. Omni-Man is the worst fight in the world by any means, and it may very well be what we get, but this is the one that I would absolutely love to see get announced, but of course that's just my opinion. Next up is Dexter vs. Jimmy Neutron. It's no secret that I'm a big fan of Death Battle using cartoon characters from unique series, and they seem to be trying to do one major cartoon fight per season now. Season 7 had Danny Phantom vs. American Dragon Jake Long, Season 8 had Steven Universe vs. Star Butterfly, and this is arguably the biggest one out of what they could do next, definitely one that I'd really like to see. These two beloved boy geniuses have created so 
much over the course of their shows that it's ridiculous. And if they pull a Batman vs. Iron Man and just give them everything they've built, or at least most of it, then the animation could be amazing. At the same time though, it wouldn't just feel like a clone fight, since they each have pretty unique arsenals and definitely unique personalities, which can make the fight so fun to analyze and so fun to watch. There's so much you can do with this kind of episode, and I just want them to do it already. I feel like we've been waiting for so long. This really is just one of those fights that we basically all know is going to happen at some point down the line. And considering how Death Battle uses cartoon characters more often nowadays, this seems like the perfect time to jump into it. It's an idea that makes too much sense to just ignore, and I personally would love to see how creative Death Battle could get with it. Or if anything, just give us more cartoon fights Death Battle, whether it's Dexter vs. Jimmy, or Bill vs. Discord, or Doofenshmirtz vs. Rick, or whatever else, we just want to see more. Next up on the list, we have Man Bat vs. Morbius. Now, this is probably going to be one of my more unpopular opinions in this video, but this is actually my preferred match for both of these characters. I know a lot of people really want Man Bat vs. Lizard, and I think that's also a really good idea, but Lizard and Morbius literally have the exact same stuff in common with Man Bat, and Morbius and Man Bat also share the bat creatures of the night trait, so I like this fight just a bit more. I could also see them having a Morbius fight waiting to release close to the Morbius movie, since that movie's been delayed so much by now, and Man Bat definitely seems like his most likely opponent. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there too. I don't know what the general consensus is regarding Batman characters fighting Spider-Man characters nowadays, and there are definitely a good number that I don't think are worth doing, but this is one where I'd be very intrigued if Death Battle decided to do it. These are two characters that operate very differently from your typical Batman and Spider-Man villains, and they each have their own unique stories and traits that I think would be cool to go into in the analyses. The animation also has a lot that it could pull out. If they can find the right balance of grand spectacle and brutal violence, it can make for a very entertaining fight. I will say that this one's probably a little more personal than some of the other fights on this list. I really like both of these characters, and this has been a fight idea I've liked even before I knew what Death Battle was. Yes, it's another Batman vs. Spider-Man fight, but it's still different enough to be justifiable, and it has what it needs to be a good episode that stands on its own. If you're sick of these kinds of fights, I totally understand, but I could personally go for this one. Coming up next is Brook vs. Lord Raptor. I wanted to include a fight on this list involving anime and game characters, since it is pretty light on those media, and I think having a variety, even in a hypothetically speaking video, is always a good thing. Plus, this fight has a lot going for it on its own, in my opinion, and one of these characters is literally named Raptor, so I kind of had to put it on here, I'm not gonna lie. But in all seriousness, this fight may not have the most amount of connections from a sheer numbers perspective, but this is one of those cases where I really don't mind that. The concept of undead musical dudes is honestly different enough to get me invested, and it would give us something quite different from the other One Piece and Darkstalkers fights we've seen on the show before. Their abilities and personalities would also make the fight incredibly entertaining, and would be a nice change of pace from the far more serious episodes that Season 9 will inevitably have. I don't have too much more to say about this fight other than it's really intriguing to me and I'd love to learn more about these characters. I think it definitely helps to have fights with funny or out-of-the-box aspects to them, and I think this episode has the ability to be both a ton of fun and super action-packed. There are a lot of fight ideas with anime or video game characters that don't excite me that much just because I'm not familiar with them, but this one was able to pull my attention right from the beginning. I'd love to see what Death Battle could do with it. Another fight that I would love to see is Captain Kirk vs. Han Solo. I don't expect a ton of people to be actively waiting for this fight, but this is one that I've wanted for quite some time. It really feels like the Gandalf vs. Dumbledore of sci-fi fights in that it's the quintessential nerd debate for the genre, and I am frankly quite surprised that it hasn't been touched on yet. This also stems from some of my main asks for Death Battle in general, like wanting new series on the show like Star Trek, and wanting them to focus more on live-action movies and TV shows, which they have done before but not to a huge extent, it would probably be more difficult to pull off certain aspects of the episode with this kind of fight, like finding or creating the right sprites for the animation, but they've gotten over those hurdles before and I see no reason why they couldn't at least try this one. There's so much material 
material for both of these characters now, and that could lead to some really interesting analysis segments and overall writing. Plus, not only would this be a great introduction to Star Trek, but it'd also be nice to see a Star Wars character that isn't a Jedi or a Sith in what feels like forever. I almost feel a little selfish for asking for this fight because I'd have to imagine the reason they haven't done it yet is because of a general lack of interest. I can't say I know a ton of people who would be as excited for this fight as I would be, and that's okay. Of course, video games, anime, and comics are really popular, and that will dictate a lot of what Death Battle will do. But while I recognize that this fight might not be the most likely for this season, or maybe even ever, I can definitely say that it'd be one of my first picks if I got to make a Death Battle season. If anything, I'd recommend for Death Battle to use it as a test. Try it to see how well it performs, and if the final product or view count doesn't live up to expectations, then they can toss the whole concept away. Obviously, I can't force them to make or stop making anything, but for those of us who'd be genuinely interested, and for possibly expanding Death Battle's horizons, I would not mind seeing this fight brought to life at all. And finally, for the last spot on this list, we have Simon the Digger versus Kyle Rayner. I don't think this one needs that much of an introduction, considering everyone and their mother in this community has been talking about it for the last while, and I know this might be a little annoying that, hey, here's yet another guy who wants this fight, but it's true. I think that with the right amount of time and effort put into it, this one has the potential to be a banger and a half. Not only would this introduce so many people to a relatively unknown anime series, which is always a fun and exciting thing for them to do, it also presents the opportunity to expand on things they've shown us before on the show in regards to DC. We can learn about White Lanterns as opposed to Green Lanterns, if they decide to go that route. We can learn about the Life Equation as opposed to the Anti-Life Equation, if they decide to go that route. There is so much room for creativity and spectacle that we could honestly get one of the grandest animations ever on the show, like for real. Couple that with a snappy and in-depth script going over exactly what the audience needs to know and we're all set. Well, as long as it doesn't just turn into another Ben 10 versus Green Lantern, but you know, what can you do? This is one of those really rare cases where it's a fight that hasn't been around forever, but I'm still pretty much 100% sure it will happen because people are not gonna stop talking about it until it does. Maybe it's slightly wishful thinking that it could happen this coming year, but like some of the other fights I listed, I just think now would be the perfect time for it. Death Battle has really stepped up their game in terms of quality over the past few years, and if they're still trying to raise the bar, which I'm sure sure they are, this matchup is exactly what they need. If they do the research, go all in with the animation, and present the characters in exciting ways, then we'd get an episode to remember. And I don't think I'll be offending too many people by saying that. So guys, thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Like I said before, be sure to leave your own ideas for Death Battle Season 9 in the comments down below. I'm really looking forward to hearing your own ideas and what you guys have to say. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a like, and maybe even subscribe if you want to see more of my content. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, season eight's coming to a close and I've really enjoyed this season. I hope you guys have enjoyed it too, but I'm really looking forward to what Death Battle has to offer in season nine. So yeah, I guess we just wait for 2022. That's it for me. I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.